It's DK and I'm back with Van Talk episode Finn. We are here, get it in, baby. Five weeks in a row. We have done Van Talk every Friday. So, huge shout out to every single one of you that has been tuning in. Also, if you are not subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button and do not forget to hit that thumbs up. We about to get right into the question, baby. We ain't come to play no games. We came here to do our thing and get this changed. Let's go. Question number one comes from at Magris, and they say, I just watched Big CJ's video series about how his first year of business went, and he discussed how much money he saved up before he made the decision to quit his nine to five. I know that you also do real estate. Did you put aside a certain amount of money before starting? Huge shout out to Magris. I'm still waiting you to send me that info uh, about where you work at. You say you do some auto parts or something like that. Rooms, house reviews at gmail.com. Go ahead and send me the info so I can go out there, get dough, and Skull get a pop like Crisco. First off, huge shout out to my guy, Big CJ. He, those two those two videos he did were great. Both of them were great, I liked them a lot. Now, as far as how much money I saved up, I didn't have a set number that I saved up to and didn't quit. I just was saving money all, all, all in general. Like, I just was saving money, saving money, saving money. I bought two properties. I had bought one in 2016, bought one in 2018. So I had that going on. I had my tenants and everything. So I was making money doing that. And then I also had the job. And unfortunately, if y'all heard the other van talk, well, last van talk, y'all know I had to get rid of that job. Y'all know why. If you tuned in, if you didn't, make sure you go watch last week's video and put me on your big screen video. But uh, me personally, I didn't have a, a certain amount of money saved up. I just was saving all in general. So that's just how I did it. If you were out there, I do recommend that you have at least something saved up, at least six months of reserves saved up so you can still live your same lifestyle and you can figure out kind of what you want to do. Um, I don't think I don't recommend just quit your job and just say I'm gonna do gig apps. You ain't signed up for no gig apps. You ain't got no. You ain't you ain't do nothing. You just quit your job and just think you're gonna go do DoorDash and and, and over and all that stuff. So I do recommend you guys have a plan. I kind of had a plan because I was always not wanting to work for somebody. So it just the the opportunity came and I seized the moment. That's what you gotta do out here. When the opportunity come, seize the moment. But huge shout out to you for that question again. Rollingtownsreviews at gmail.com for that info so I'll go out there and get dope. Uh, it's cold. So question number two comes from at that so Florida and they say, did you start out with an LLC and a business bank account in your earlier days when you were doing Uber Eats and DoorDash? Or did you acquire that after you got the van? Honestly, we already had the business bank account before when we were before even before DoorDash and all that stuff. We already had the business bank account. Um, we already had the LLC. We had we already had pretty much everything we needed to get the van already. Um, if you got, I told you guys how to do the business thing. If you want to get a business credit card and all that stuff, you do have, you have to start small. You have to start small and you have to have some money in the bank already. And usually they want you to have your own personal bank account there too so they can see how you're moving. Like they see if you're spending money, blowing money fast, if you're going in the red, if you don't got enough money to take care of everything and you uh, robbing Peter to pay Paul. They, they want to know all this stuff. So it's best to build a relationship with the bank by having your bank account there already so they can kind of do everything, look over everything and make sure you're good and then get you a small little credit card and then just use it for gas, 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 gas. Pay, when it, when a bill come, don't, if it if the bill's $1,000, do not pay $100. That's how they get you. Pay the full thousand. So you have to manage your money very well. Pay the full thousand. Every time the bill come, pay the money, pay the money, pay the money. You're gonna build your business credit up and then they go, hey, eventually they're gonna let you get whatever you wanna get. I'm just letting you guys know that. Okay, they also say, do you think that it's necessary um, for a person to get an LLC and a business account if they decide to fully pursue this as a business? You should watch my guy Big CJ video. And I'm gonna tell you this. You could do, it's, it's really on what you wanna do. Do you have to have a business credit, a business uh, bank account and an LLC? You do not have to have those things. It's really up to you and what you wanna do. Um, me personally, I think is we did that because it made the most sense for us because we were planning on buying properties and everything later on with the business bank account. That's the reason why we got the van. That's the reason. What well, that ain't the reason why we got the van. We got the van to, to get more money. But that's the reason why we put the van in our business name. That's the reason why we did everything under the business. So when we go buy a property, it's already good. We already got a good uh, credit score and we already good. We already got the money sitting in there and everything. So they can see that and we can go get busy like that. That's the reason why we did it. But technically, you really don't have to. You really don't have to have a LLC or business bank account. You can do it under your personal name. It's all up to you on how you want to do it.
Question number three comes from at Gorilla, and they say, you seem to have a good relationship with some of your repeat customers. Have they ever approached you with being a direct driver for them? I wish they would. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for them to do it. Cause I'm a, uh, 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 go get busy right quick. Now we did have that one dude call us. If you ain't watched yesterday's video, make sure you go watch that. Um, we did have that one dude call us about doing those solar panels, but he never reached back out to us again. Um, I wish that someone would. It depends on what it is, and it have to make sense for us. If they did reach out to us and let us know that they want us to do something. I would personally want to do it very early in the morning, like super early in the morning, get it out the way and then get busy from there. So if we can come out the gate making one hundred to two hundred to three hundred dollars out but well, I ain't that's jumping, I'm jumping high. One hundred to one hundred and fifty dollars out the gate, I'm gone every time. Go out there, uh, get that, knock that out, and then go on with our day like that. Um that's the only way I would do a dedicated, any dedicated thing. It would have to be one pick, one drop. I pick it up, drop it off early morning. I'm done with that. And I go move on with the gig apps and whatever else, the carrier company and everything else like that. I think that would definitely help us out, get closer to that $500 a day to keep these haters away. Um, I think that the second question is kind of along the lines of, um, is the reason why you don't do a dedicated route or the reason why you don't drive for someone is because you like the freedom of choosing whatever job or hours you're working. Is that more rewarding for you than doing a dedicated route? Um, a dedicated route or one dedicated thing? Well, they don't specify. It's not specific. So with dedicated route, I don't want to do the dedicated route. I don't want to do the dedicated route. It's guaranteed money for sure. We all know that it's guaranteed money. Every time you, uh, 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 they're going to cut that check every time. Dedicated, no issues, no problems. You're going to get the money guaranteed. But you're not free. And you might have to be working from 5 in the morning all the way to 7 at night. You never know. It, it depends on how many packages they get you. So once you're signed on and you're dedicated to that company, they want you to be dedicated. They don't want you uh, stopping in the middle to go do a gig app, stopping in the middle and go do this. They want you to do knock off their stuff, and then you got to go from there. So that's the reason why I kind of don't like the dedicated routes. I will prefer to do one pick, one drop, pick it up from here, drop it off here. Even if I do some manual labor, I don't really care about that. As long as I can, uh, one, uh, uh, real quick. I don't like doing, like, a, a lot of those dedicated routes, they want you to pick up 3,000 packages. You got to pick up 100 packages, 150 packages. You like Emma, you like uh, um, uh, FedEx and UPS. First off, I'm going to say this. Huge shout out to FedEx and UPS because y'all legendary. I just want to tell y'all this. If you work at FedEx, Amazon, UPS, and you do all those packages, you going crazy. It's too much for me. I'm just going to be honest with you. It's not for me at all. Getting in out the van 150 times, boom, boom. I ain't trying to do that. I got to deal with the door, man. They want you to take the packets upstairs. I don't want to deal with none of that. So, huge shout out to all the UPS, FedEx, and uh, Amazon drivers. But as far as a dedicated route, I don't want to do a de dedicated route. Only if it was a one pick, one drop, and be going to the top. Question number four comes from at Chris. And they say, is it better to get a business license and then get a cargo van? Or should they just do it under their personal credit? Honestly, it's really up to you. It, it's really playing on which what, what you want to do. So, if you are going to do the gig apps, some gig apps are not going to allow you to put an EIN number. You're just going to have to go under your personal name. But if you plan on one day, maybe you want to scale. Maybe you want to get 10 uh, cargo vans or 10 box trucks or something like that. Then, I do recommend that you have an LLC and you have a business bank account. You have everything you need to have because you don't want to be liable for anything. So, it really depends on what you're trying to do. Um, they also want to know do you say do you recommend that they buy used or new? Again, it depends on you what you want to do. Do you want to buy new or do you want to buy used? I think that you could probably get the reason let me just say let me just say this. I told you guys this before. One of the reasons why we went with new was because first off I didn't want to have to deal with no problems and secondly the used ones weren't that much lower so it was like five or ten thousand dollars lower for a used one versus a new one. I might as well go with the new one I know for sure it don't have any problems at all so I do recommend if you're just starting off I don't see nothing wrong with you getting a used van you can go get your used van so you can go out there and get them vans I don't see nothing wrong with it it just really depends on you vetting the van and make sure that the van is a proper fit for you and make sure it ain't no huge mechanical problems and also do not forget if you get a used van Make sure you get that warranty. Do not play no games. Don't get no uh, as is. Get a warranty. That's all I'm going to say. Question number five comes from at a couple tries. And they say, if you weren't doing gig work, what else would you be doing aside from real estate? First off, huge shout out to a couple tries. Uh, put the YouTube channel up there right there. Make sure y'all go subscribe to that YouTube channel. And while you're there, make sure you give them a thumbs up so they can go out there and get them bucks. Now, that is an excellent question. I'm just going to be honest with you. 
I low-key have no clue. I don't really know what I would be doing. That's something that I need to think about. Besides, okay, the real estate and then the gig work, what else would I be doing? I really don't know. I kind of just go with the flow. And then sometimes I see some, uh, I, really it is, what happens with me is I seize moments. So if I see opportunity right here, uh, I'm going over there. I'm telling y'all right now, just as soon as it gets too critical with this gig work and I see another opportunity, I'm gone. I'm just telling y'all right now. I'm not saying I'm going to stop posting YouTube videos, but I'm saying if I see a better opportunity somewhere else, I'm gone. I'm gone. Uh, uh, I'm gone. So, honestly, I really don't know what I would be doing, but hopefully we find out soon. You know what I'm talking about? Question number six comes from at Jay, and he says, what's your morning workout routine? Shout out to my guy Jay. He's trying, uh, trying to get right. Now, my morning routine, I got two routines, kind of. Well, not kind of, I do. Now, my morning routine, uh, I'm going to put on right there. Y'all need, if y'all want to work out, this calisthenics, this is not no waste, this is not none of that. Calisthenics, you don't go to my guy, Bully Juice. Legendary. I do like 30-day workouts, 45-day workouts. So that's the stuff I do. And also, uh, this, Jordan, I think his name Jordan Yao or Yo or something like that. Hey, if you want to have the most critical workout you ever had in your lifetime, I don't care what you, ever, I don't care what you did. They have a thing called the four minutes of death. Now, on the four minutes of death, you're going to feel like death. I'm just going to let you know. They ain't called the four minutes of death for nothing. On the four minutes of death, you're going to do burpees. I'm talking about, I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. If you decide you want to do this, first off, you have a, uh, a I think it's 21 day workout. 21 day or 14 or 21 day. Go check out his YouTube channel. On like the seventh or eighth day, you're going to do that. Uh, you're going to do that. It's called Tabitha. That's what it's called, Tabitha. You're going to do one exercise for four minutes. So you're going to do burpees for 20 seconds, then rest 10 seconds. Then 20 seconds, then rest. But you got to do as many as you can. Like the first time you do it, like say you do seven burpees in 20 seconds you gotta repeat that the whole thing try to repeat that every single time so it's super critical but for the most part i go with my guy bully juice i do 30 day workouts I do 45 day workouts right now i'm on a 45 day workout now um, i've just started implementing this too just so you guys know um normally i usually i used to do like six days on and then one day off but this time i haven't taken any days off i'm doing 45 days straight no days off i'm talking like they socks off so that's what i'm doing and then at nighttime after i done edit the video i do 500 jump ropes jump rope uh, and then 100 push-ups so that's what i do with my workout but let me say this one more thing before we go other than working out the most important thing of it all is the dieting that's the most important thing it's 20% affects you from working out, and 80% is a dieting. If you eat right, you ain't gonna have to work out as much. But you wanna get you some endurance, that's why I do the jump ropes and everything, so I can uh, get busy. You know, I to get busy, yeah, yeah. But I appreciate the question. On to the next one. Question number seven comes from at Bob Church, and he says, how far south of Gurney do you go? Most of his work comes out of Lake Geneva and McHenry. Shout out to my guy, McHenry Bob. I'm still, hey, I'm still taking you up on that offer. I'm ready to start this carpentry whenever you want to come out of retirement. But um, I've been, today I actually went to Dez Plains. That's where I do the summer orders, Dez Plains. I don't, let me just say this. Let me say this is my guy, Bob. Bob, I really do not want to even go down there. I don't like going down there. I'd rather go north than south. Because you know they ain't got them toes up there and the traffic flows way better than going down there to Chicago. So I have went down there to Chicago. Yesterday I went, yesterday video I went to Country Hills. That's what it's called. Country Club Hills. I went to Country Club Hills. That was a pretty far, 65 miles. I went from uh, Elgin to Country Club Hills to make that 180. So I do go down there sometimes. I prefer to stay up north, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. So I gotta do what I gotta do to get that dough. Question number eight comes from at Motown. And he says, how did you and your business partner's partnership manifest? It manifested from us. Actually, we met each other. See, we didn't know each other. I'm gonna tell you guys this. We met each other when we both became real estate agents. Well, we met be before that. So we went. I went to this class. She went to the class. And when we had the, pretty much what you do in this class, you have to do all the quizzes and all that stuff. And then you have to study for the class exam. Then you have to pass that class exam. Then you go to do the state exam for you to become a real estate agent. I met her in the class. She knew I was in there going crazy, answering all the questions. I was asking all the questions. I was, was, I, was I asking all the questions or not? Yeah. Was I getting them all right or not? Pretty much. I was going crazy. I was paying attention. I was reading. Let me just say y'all this. I know this may sound crazy when I tell you this. This is a fun fact about me. My first full book I ever read was that real estate book. That's the first full book I ever read in my life. And it's like 600, 700 pages. 
That's the first full book I ever read. Well, besides when you do read stuff when you were a kid and all that stuff. But the first real grown book was that. And it was critical, but we did get it done. That's how we met. We met there. Um, all of us, all of our classmates, it was like eight of us. How many think it was? Mm, like like, like so around eight of us we was all supposed to meet up at the library and study for this class exam and all that stuff nobody ever came me and her we was out there getting busy i was in the library getting right so that's how we met and then we've been stuck to the hip ever since ever since that ever since that then uh and i'm gonna tell you guys another fun fact on our real estate exam the reason why we work well together is because she thinks the opposite of what i think well not the opposite but She's thinking in reverse of what I think. The, the end goal is the same thing, but it's the reverse. So she thinking we're coming this way. I'm thinking coming this way. So, pause. That was crazy. But, <laughs> but on the class exam, I got a 96% on the state. Was it 96? 96% on the, what was it? I got a 96% on the state. And then I got a 92% on the federal, and she got a 96% on the federal and 92% on the state. So it was like reverse. So we did that. Then we had to study. I'm talking about, I'm going to tell you right now. Taking a real estate exam was a hard, the first one, the one for Illinois, the hardest test I ever took in my life. It was, it was, it was nerve wracking. When I went to the second, it was sweet. I got the videos too. I got the videos to prove it to y'all. If y'all want to go back and I took the uh, Wisconsin real estate exam, y'all can do so check that out. But huge shout out to you for the question. On to the next one. Question number nine comes from at Homestead, and they say, "Are you still doing medical courier jobs this year? If you are, with who?" Unfortunately, well, no, I ain't gonna say this year. Unfortunately, we no longer have any medical carrier routes or anything like that going on. Previously, we did use drop off. That's honestly the only people that we've done medical carrier routes for. We were going to sign up with this company, but it was a dedicated route, and I had to rethink that because they had like medical equipment. You go pick up like canes and, and uh, wheelchairs and uh, beds and all that stuff and you deliver that in the Sprinter van. But unfortunately we said we actually not gonna do that because I don't want a dedicated route. And it was kind of like, mm, New Berlin was like how far away? Like an hour? Um, yeah. Like an hour away. So well, we was like, no, nah. then you gotta go up there, they gonna send you up there no more north and then no, no, no. So as of right now, we do not have any other medical care and stuff that we do. I just, I'm gonna tell you guys how to find a medical carrier stuff. All you gotta do is go on Indeed and type in medical carrier. That's it. It's gonna be right in there. That's all you gotta do. So, if you wanna be a medical carrier, make sure you guys go on Indeed, type in medical carrier, medical carrier, medical carrier independent contractor, something like that. It's gonna be right in there. So, I sold you guys all as far as uh, carrier company. I sold you a whole list on the, was that last video? Maybe last video, I showed you a whole list of medical carrier, I mean, of uh, cargo van uh, carrier company. So go ahead and go on Indeed, A, hey, and make sure you read. Question number 10 comes from at James, and he says, how many phones do you use, and do you have a top tier phone plan or phone brand? James, gold all in my chain. What up, James? What's going on, my guy? So as far as us using a top tier phone company. We do not have any top tier phone company. I have an iPhone. I don't even know how old that joint is. Probably at least, maybe, maybe at least four years old or something like that. I don't really care about, people be caring about this iPhone 17, 25. I don't care about none of that. If I can call somebody, if I can get on the apps, if I can go on YouTube, that's all I need. I don't need nothing extra, no spectacular. All I need to just join the dude work and people be able to call me so I can get this money. And that's really it. I don't need all the gadgets and gadgets. Yes, the cameras are better, but I do want to tell you this though. I've learned this from experience. Samsung's are better than an iPhone. I'm sorry, look. I've been having an iPhone for this whole time. Once my business partner had her camera, it was way clearer, way better. And it's, it, everything is it's easier to use, especially if you're going, because it's a Google phone. So it's pretty much, you go going everything to Google. It's right there, you boo. iPhone be tweaking a little bit sometimes. I, I'm just going to tell you the truth. Sometimes when I'm using my iPhone, it's, it, ha it has like the bars and it has an E on it. I have to turn my phone or turn it back on. Turn, I ain't got time for doing all that. But... As long as they work and I can get that work, that's all I care about. And how many phones do you use? We use two phones, one for the plug, we use two phones. Now, on my business partner only has certain apps and I only have certain apps. The only app that both of us have is DoorDash. You don't even got Uriish. We only got DoorDash and Rody. Dispatch, I have Dispatch. And Dispatch and Curry. But Curry, I don't know, Curry ain't really fooling me like that, I don't know. Hey. Hit me up, y'all. Y'all hit me up, Kurt. I need some money. But that's what we use. I recommend that you guys do whatever works best for you. If you like the iPhone more, use the iPhone. If you like the Samsung more, use the Samsung. 
it's not it don't really I don't think it really matters. That's just me. That's my personal opinion. What you think? Yeah, I prefer my phone, so I don't I don't think it matters. No, her either. phone is, but I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even gonna say. I ain't even gonna say and, 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 and tell y'all no lies. The truth is, Samsungs are better. I just, I'm sorry to say, it. yes, I got the iPhone. Yeah, everybody want to be cool. They just want to do all that stuff. I ain't. I'm just telling her to tell the truth. Samsungs is better, man. And they got the SD card. You take the SD card, put it in the laptop. iPhone, you can't do that. So, and she got the little thing. Let me show y'all. What is it? You can get that. You can write stuff down. It, iPhone ain't got that. I'm sorry. It ain't got that. So, you no. Know, that's what I feel about it. But, huge shout out to my guy, James. Appreciate the question. On to the next one. Okay, question number 11 comes from at Rapid, and he says, do you still have the Corvette? Absolutely. The Vettachini in the garage. Speaking of the Vettachini, I do got to go start that joint. You know, I'll be acting like it's sweet. I, I got to give me a trickle charger, too, and give me a little cover and all that stuff. I've been kind of thinking about switching it up next year, but I already don't know. Should I get a new wrap? Should I not get a new wrap? I know for sure I'm getting more talk stickers. For sure, that's not even a question. But should I get a new wrap? Should I not get a new wrap? Is it a waste of money for me to get this new wrap? I don't know. I don't know really what I'm going to do, but I do I still got the bed chain joint sitting in the garage. Whenever I'm ready to slide, take the roof off. Hey, I'm going to say this. Look, I'm going to tell y'all this, right? I don't know if y'all have ever driven in a drop top or like a bed or anything with the top come off. But I just want to say this. There is nothing like it. I just want to tell y'all this. There is nothing like it. I don't care. You get the hell catch. You get the... Listen to what I'll tell you right now. There is nothing like... CJ, CJ on 32, he got that drop, that drop, uh, that drop challenge. That joint nasty. There is nothing like when that roof come off. I don't know what it is. It just feel... I, I, I can't explain it. You have to, you have to, you have to experience it or understand what I'm saying. When that roof fall... Tell them, when you, when the roof was... That was the first time you ever got the roof off? Yeah. How was it? It was definitely different. It's, it's, you can look up at the stars. Every, like, it's, it's different. Look, it's not the same. I swear it's not the same. It's not the same. When that roof off and it's summertime and the stars glistening, you get that music bang. It's just different. I'm trying to tell you right now. It is different. And I know a lot of dudes that like them Hellcats and all that. The Hellcats is cool. I like them. They cool. The track cars, I like them too. I like all them cars. But there is nothing like when that roof come off. That's my personal preference. That's my personal experience. Comment below and let me know if you've ever been out with, there with the roof off. Question number 12 comes from at Steven and he says, how come you don't do DoorDash or Uber Eats or a different app when it's slow with your car? Steve, that's a great question. My guy, Steve, that is an excellent question. Why don't I do it? First off, let me say this. I did try to finesse and do DoorDash. Not finesse. I really tried to do DoorDash a couple times. But it's never open. Like, I can't never get in there. Pause. I can never get inside door dad. <laughs> I'm just taking this too far. So, hey, I'm going on the rabbit hole. Let me calm down. Every time I try to log on the DoorDash app and try to, uh, you know, schedule myself, it never works. It's too many drivers, so I can't never get in there. So I don't I don't even bother trying it anymore. Uber Eats, sometimes I do turn on the Uber Eats app. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes if it's slow and everything's going to slow, I definitely turn that joint on if we out there doing nothing. So I turn that joint on sometimes. But the orders, I seen, I think I seen an order on Uber Eats for $2.65. I couldn't believe it. I was like, shit. It was $2.65 or $2.75. I was like, sheesh. But it is what it is, baby. We can't complain about it. We got to maintain about it. Huge shout out to you for the question. That was a great question. Question number 13 comes from at Mike and he says, has there been times when you woke up early in the morning and it was just as slow in the morning as it would be at any other part of the day? Absolutely. Absolutely. Like for the last past, first off today, I low key went crazy. I low key went crazy. I did, you guys are gonna see this video on Monday. I did decide to go out there by someone and I actually got an order. So I went out there and get an order. So be expecting to see someone on Monday's video. Um, Sometimes it's just nothing. Like today, oh, oh yeah, another thing. Today, Rody was tweaking. I don't know what happened on the Rody app. We got, I got up, at, I got up there, everything I needed to do. At five twenty, going there, there was nothing. It was nothing on five twenty. There was nothing at six twenty. And then I think it was something that had to do with Home Depot for some odd reason, because no Home Depot was popped up until like what sounds like eight something, eight something. Like I don't know what happened. Maybe they had a shutdown at their store or some or or a system. I don't know what happened, but. Sometimes it's just nothing out there. And then I just got to, sometimes I sit at home. But today I decided to go out. The last two days I decided to go out by someone. Yesterday I didn't get anything. I had to wait a couple hours. And I finally got some. 
And that's when y'all saw me do that uh, solar panel order. And then today I did get a summer on order. So today went pretty smooth. It, I was just uh, 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 moving and grooving. So that video is dropping Monday. So make sure y'all stop in so y'all can watch me get that Monday. Question number 14 comes from, from at iHall. And they say, are you and your business partner a couple? iHall, look. iHall, you must, either you new to the channel or you ain't watched, was that last week's? One of the weeks, Van Talk. You got to be watching the Van Talk. Two, Van Talk two? I think three. Van Talk one of them. Just watch all of them. Just watch, hey, watch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Watch all the Van Talks. If you watch the Van Talks, you're going to find out if we are in a relationship or not. I said it in the Van Talk. If you ain't watched it, I don't know to tell you that. You got to go on ahead and go check that out. I Look, one thing that I'm trying to implement in 2024 is I am planning on I think that it's time that we go to the next level for us on the channel and for us everywhere. It's time for us to go to the next level. Like, I'm not going to be handicapping people anymore. If the information is there, if you want the information, the information is there. All you got to do is look for it. People be asking me, what about this? What is this? What is that? What is that? All you got to do is watch the videos. All of the information that you guys want to know is in the video. So I ain't going to be telling you this in another video. I ain't going to tell you this. I'm just going to let you just uh, talk to yourself. I ain't got time to be answering comments about what app is when you what app you use, and I put it on the screen. You just want to pay attention to it. A lot of y'all y'all lazy. Y'all want me to do the work for you. I can't do the work for you. All I can do is point you in the right direction, and it's up to you. First off, let me rewind a little bit. I hope I'm not referring just to you in general. Just to, just I don't want you to be offended and get mad and all that stuff. I'm just saying that all the information that we put out is in the videos. All y'all gotta do is watch the video. That's it. What apps we use and what everything is all in the video. Make sure you put me on the big screen video. And when you're there, make sure you smash the like button. Um, last but not least, question number 15 comes from at Steven. And he says, do you play Call of Duty mobile or do you play on a PS5 or an Xbox? I used to play, uh, I, first off, I do play on PS5. PS5, few shots of my cousin, you know, for my birthday last year, he got me the PS5. I had the PS4, he came with the 5. Uh, so I gave my phone to my nephew. I'm like, y'all can have this. Then they got in trouble, they can't play it. But anyway, that's another story. The story is this. I be on PS5, and my, my business partner, she played with me too. So we might start, I be thinking about doing Twitch and all that stuff, but I don't know. I don't know if I really got time to be doing no Twitch and all that stuff. But we play on PS5, and I'm going to put my name right there. Uh, my name on the game is at Real to Rome. It's Real to Rome. All caps, Real to Rome. If y'all want to get busy, we're going to go up there and get it on my business party we playing too. So we be on there getting busy. We be playing duos. I do be playing quads sometimes, but I, hey, I want to say this. If y'all going to be playing with me, man, y'all got to be, we got to play as a team. Y'all cannot be tweaking, dying 50,000 quadrillion times. We supposed to land over here. You all the way over there. Some people I go, I play on quads and they all landing all over here, landing all over here. Man, we got to play as a team so we can go out there uh, and hit them with them beams. But that is it. Big Talk Episode 5 is a great time to be alive. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also, do not forget to give me a thumbs up. And on top of that, throw them C's up. Throw them C's up in the comment section. And make sure you lock in on Monday because we're going to have a fun day. And we're going to get to this Monday. I will see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're flowing. You already know in the DDK. And I'm on my way.